What is going on guys and girls, my name is Van Gilf and today we've got for you the Manchester City play predictions video. Before the video starts I just want to tell you guys that it was very difficult to do this one. It was one of those times where you just did not know whether to downgrade, upgrade or leave players the same. So I've gone for the most safe option every single time so you're going to have to listen to what I say. Don't just watch and see what guys have been rated and then go oh my god that's so wrong because I am I'm, I'm, like I said I was stuck in two minds a lot of the time here so we're gonna move on to Joe Hart as the first one I left him exactly the same he did get dropped last year so I was kind of going towards a downgrade but then when he came back and you know he was the main choice goalkeeper Pantelmon was back on the bench he did perform very well he made one very good save particularly against Everton I do remember and you know I I just don't think he warrants a downgrade, but I don't think he warrants an upgrade, so it, it's just going to have to stay the same for me. I mean, if you guys want to drop a comment down below, I'm going to love to see your opinions on this. A lot of people really don't like Hart, and a lot of people really do like him, so it's going to be interesting to see there. We're going to move on to Vincent Company, who I am a very firm believer in. He is one of the best centre-backs in the world. He's such a good player. Um, I've only upgraded him by one, because, you know, 86 is huge anyway, but... 87 rated centre back is very very good and as I said I think he's one of the best in the world so I think his defender is going to go up by one, he's heading by two and he's passing by one. Everything else is going to stay the same, I don't think anything needs to go down on him, I think he's a very solid centre back as I said so I'm going to move on to the next one now and uh, I'm actually doing five this time round and I'm hoping it's going to be a short and snappy video because I want to get your guys, you guys to kind of see who I've done and drop a comment down below with what you think about them. So, so far we've got Heart Company, we're going to move on to Torre now. Torre is one of the guys I wanted to upgrade by like two or three, but considering he's already 86 rated overall, I decided to bump him up by one and I gave him a huge upgrade on his shooting because he scored a lot of goals last year. He also got, I think, around about nine assists as well, so he had an absolutely amazing year. Yaya Torre. He plays mainly as a kind of holding central midfielder. His last card was CDM. I've changed it to centre mid. I went on um, a, a website I used to have a look at stats. He said he started the majority of his games as a centre mid and he played as a CDM around about 9 or 10 times according to this website I was using anyway. So that's the reason I played him centre mid. He could be centre mid or he could be centre defensive mid. Gone for 87 overall. Could quite happily you know, give him more or I could, you know, go absolutely crazy and just give him like 80, 90, whatever. He was a very good player last year, but I don't know. I just think he's going to go up by one or two. They're not going to go crazy, but I think he does deserve something big. But in my head, I'm only seeing him to be 87 or 88. Drop a comment down below saying what you think. Um, I don't think he's going to go up to something ridiculous, but... You know, that, that's just me, that's what I think. Drop a comment down below, like I said. We're going to move on to Aguero now, and he is one of the ones that I really struggled to do. He's 88 overall in his uh, last fever. I did give him upgrades in some categories this time round. I gave him more passing, more shooting, and I didn't know whether to bump him up to 89 or not. So I've just left him the same. I mean, in another, yeah, on another day, I may have given him 89. He's, uh, he's an outstanding player when he's fit. He was injured for a long period of time last year. And um, I don't know. He did score a lot of goals in the short time he was fit. So he could quite easily get upgraded. As I said at the beginning of the episode. I don't. I, in, I was stuck in two minds when I did some of these. And I don't know. I think right now I'm regretting leaving him as 88. And I think I should have bumped him up to 89. But then I look at Suarez and I just think. Are they on par with each other? Suarez is probably going to be a very high rated card next year because um, he's he's out of this world. When he's fit and on form, he's unplayable. But again, so is Aguero. So I think they're going to be similar rated. So yeah, we're going to leave that one there. We're going to go on to the next one, which is uh, one of my favourite Manchester City players, which is hard to say considering I'm a United fan. But I actually really like Dzeko. I probably like him more for Bosnia than I do City. That's probably the best way to describe that. Um, a lot of the players, you know, I don't like. Obviously, there's a natural rivalry there. But we're going to go on to Dzeko, as I said. He played very well when he did actually play last year. He's like the third choice striker now. And that's the thing with City. They've got four world-class strikers with Jovetic and Negredo as well. I think Dzeko does very well to come in when he's needed. He does score the goals. He's a little bit greedy at times. He's not the best at passing. As the card does say there, 68 is what I'm going to give him. I'm going to give him a plus two on shooting because he's got a fair few goals in the small amount of time he did get to play. A lot of these appearances are off the bench as well well one up on the heading and everything else is pretty much going to stay the same so that's the end of the video guys i hope you have enjoyed this if you're new around here subscribe if you have any opinions on anything that i have just said on the last five cards make sure you drop a comment because as i said it's always good to read these it's good to get your feedback and i'm going to have a discussion with you about it anyway 
drop a like I'd be amazed if we could hit 250 likes or something like that my last video actually got over 600 likes so if we get anywhere near that you know my mind is going to be blown thanks so much for watching guys and um, I'm going to see you soon thank you for watching bye